Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. With the continuous development of the times, China's scientific and technological strength is also constantly increasing, and the United States has also felt an unprecedented crisis. In order to curb China's development, the two chip industry giants have issued announcements saying that if they need to export GPU and other chips, we need to wait for the notification. In fact, China can also guess the purpose of the United States in doing so. It is nothing more than trying to curb the development of China's technology from the chip, so that China is far behind them. However, China is a big country after all and the market is still very attractive. Fortunately, NVIDIA also has its own set of solutions, and it has specially customized a chip for China. So China has not been hit, and the actions of the United States are useless this time, but some netizens also raised a very sharp question, that is, if there is no supply of NVIDIA chips, will China be sanctioned by the United States? Will those supercomputing industries have an impact? When it comes to supercomputing, many people may not have heard of these words. In fact, this is also a type of computer, but it is used in some high-end industries, mainly to calculate things that cannot be calculated by ordinary computers, such as the daily weather forecasting, and many fields are inseparable from it. It can be said that many fields cannot develop without it. Foreign media can't help but lament. The United States is too hasty to catch up with China. The 21st century is very different from the past. The military alone is already very advanced. If there is a war, it will no longer be a confrontation between the manpower and material resources of the two countries, but more about the technology of the two countries. Competition, this time requires more advanced technology to ensure the operation of weapons. That's why supercomputing has played a role, and it is a very important role. It is no exaggeration to say that it is a new type of contemporary powerful tool. In order to contain China, the United States has introduced various policies against supercomputing in order not to allow supercomputing to drive the development of the country. In fact, the United States took action eight years ago, that is, one or five years ago, and did not allow Intel to sell chips to China. The reason they gave was that these chips are used in weapons. Allowing any country to surpass their hegemonic status, not only that, they have even launched sanctions against other fields. In fact, China is still in the early stages of construction. The United States is strictly defending against China which has also caused China to rely on other countries for many technologies and needs their technical support for parts. However, since supercomputing is too important, China has been committed to getting rid of the current situation since the beginning of development. The status quo and the best developed one is the supercomputing CPU. This is a technology independently developed by China, and it is also a witness of China's formal independence, and the maturity of this technology means that the country is becoming stronger and stronger. China invented SW260107 years ago, that is, in 16 years. This is also the world's first 100p level supercomputer. Its calculation speed is very fast, hundreds of thousands of times that of ordinary computers. After this technology came out and won many awards, 
And this technology is independently developed by China. Even though the various parameters have not been disclosed, but through some data, it can be found that its performance is much higher than that of ordinary super, and the most shocking thing is that its efficiency is 90.3%. Even Frontier is only 65%, and China has surpassed the United States in this point alone. With the advent of this technology, another supercomputer has attracted everyone's attention. It is the Tianhe supercomputer, which is also independently developed by China. It has successfully replaced Intel. In the future, China will no longer need Intel. Support and its performance has reached 70% at present, which is actually not easy. It is the hard work of countless people day and night in exchange for the current achievements. But this is only technical. In theory, China is also very good. The Tsinghua student team has won glory for the country in international competitions. This also makes China believe that the country will become stronger and stronger in the future, and there will be more and more people. People devote themselves to the cause of giving back to the motherland. Many netizens also noticed an article published by a British journal before. The general content is that China's current technology is very mature, and the United States may not be able to catch up with China. Moreover, China is currently the only one using E-level computing, and it is not yet ranked. On the list, in other words, China is relatively low-key. Even if China does not show off its technology, China's technological strength is beyond doubt. Looking back at NVIDIA's behavior, China will find that one day China will definitely rely on the control of the United States to become a technological power. We must see that the reason why China has achieved such achievements is inseparable from those scientific researchers who have been researching and developing day and night. Without their dedication, China would not be where it is now. Let us salute to them. What do you think about this? Welcome everyone to leave a message, like and share this video. Thank you for your watching.